Indoor Ultraviolet Tanning by Harry Tanit What is Indoor UV Tanning? Indoor tanning involves using a device that emits ultraviolet radiation to produce a cosmetic tan. Typically found in tanning salons, gyms, spas, hotels and sporting facilities and less often in private residences, the most common device is a horizontal tanning bed, also known as a sunbed or solarium. I have chosen this topic as it is on the rise and people aren't aware of the several side effects of this procedure. I'm interested to see if people actually know of these harms. Secondary research. What I realized by doing my secondary research is that given the different types of sunbed available and variations in the intensity of natural sunlight, it is almost impossible to make a direct comparison between indoor tanning and natural tanning. But what is clear is that both tanning methods expose the skin to potentially harmful levels of ultraviolet radiation. At the heart of the matter is the proportion of UVA to UVB radiation that the sunbeds use. These two types of UV light are proven to contribute to the risk for skin cancer. Ultraviolet A has a longer wavelength and is associated with skin aging. Ultraviolet B has a shorter wavelength and is associated with skin burning. Secondary research number two, health. According to the Chartered Institute of Environmental Health, sunbed's UV rays can damage the DNA in our skin cells. Using a sunbed once a month or more can increase your risk of skin cancer by more than a half. Also, exposure to UV rays can cause premature aging of the skin and signs of sun damage such as wrinkles, leathery skin, and liver spots. UV rays can also cause eye problems. Even with all those risks, people continue to use this radiation on their bodies and their clients are rising every day. Secondary research number three, environment and economy. In relation to the environment, it is worth noting that tanning lamps use a big amount of energy and hold much more toxic mercury than a normal fluorescent lamp. Despite the above negative effects, indoor tanning advertisers would like consumers to think otherwise. According to the AAD, the indoor tanning industry reported domestic sales in excess of $2.7 billion in 2007, which relies heavily on advertising to sell the misleading idea of a safe or healthy tan to the public. Primary research. My research question is, are boys or girls of Key Stage 3 in St. Lawrence more aware of the harms that indoor UV radiation can cause? My hypothesis is that more girls will know more about it as they might have relevant experience. My variables are independent variable gender, dependent variable awareness of harms of UV radiation, control variable the context of St. Lawrence College. Here are the questions of my survey. Number one, what is your gender? Number two, which grade are you in? Number three, do you use sun cream on a sunny day? Number four, how often do you exercise? Here are some others. Number five, on a scale from one to 10, how aware are you of the harms of UV radiation? Number six, what time do you go to sleep roughly? Primary research data. 27 students answered my questions. I asked pupils to rate their awareness of the risk of indoor tanning with a scale from zero, no awareness, to 10, full awareness. We can see from the graph that more boys have a medium knowledge of the risks, whereas more girls have a high knowledge of the risks. Primary research data. I also calculated the total score of awareness. As you can see from the following graph, it seems to be the same. My conclusion is that there is no correlation between gender and the awareness of the risk of indoor UV tanning. This does not support my hypothesis. To prove my research in the future, I would have more responses to make my research more reliable. Action. I want to help people from being affected by UV radiation. For my action, I have chosen two. Organize public Zoom calls and lectures on how to avoid this problem. I chose to make a video as an alternative. Create posters, flyers and other materials to raise awareness of the harms. Make surveys for everyone to answer to indicate their stage in the process. And promote the closing of tanning salons. These actions can affect teenagers and adults' point of view and make them realize the harms of UV radiation. I'm hoping to achieve a reduction in UV radiation use as it has been proven to cause several health problems and worsen a person's life. 
Thank you. These are my references.